Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle such that uh, its side lengths are A, B, and uh, C, where C is our longest uh, leg. And moreover, this uh, side B is less than uh, side A. And furthermore, uh, the area of this uh, right triangle is 2,646 uh, square units, whereas the perimeter of this uh, right triangle is uh, 252 units and now we are going to calculate the values of the side lengths a b and c please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first step we know the area that has been given to us is 2646 and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base time height in our case a is our base and b is our height so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks area of the triangle has been given to us as 2646 equals to a half times a times b now let's go ahead and remove this fraction by multiplying by 2 on the both uh, sides now we can see that this 2 and 2 cancels out uh, so therefore a times b turns out to be equal to 52 92 let me go ahead and call this our equation number one and here's our next step let's recall the perimeter the perimeter is the sum of all these uh, boundary lengths so that means perimeter is going to be a plus b plus c and in our case the perimeter has been given to us as 252 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so therefore our a plus b plus c value turns out to be 252 let me call uh, this uh, as equation number two and here's our next step let's recall the pythagorean theorem since we are dealing with this uh, right uh, triangle pythagorean theorem is uh, a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and write down a square plus uh, b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this our equation number three and now as you can see we got uh, this system of uh, three equations and now we are going to solve this system to calculate the value of a b and c and now let's focus on this uh, equation uh, two and here i have copied it down let's go ahead and move this uh, c on the right hand side so therefore we're going to have uh, a plus uh, b equals to 252 minus c now let's go ahead and take a square on uh, both uh, sides we are going to manipulate uh, this one now and now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square i'm going to apply it on the left hand side so i can write uh, a square plus uh, b square plus uh, two times a b equals to and now let's recall this another identity a minus b whole square we are going to apply it on the right hand side so the right hand side is going to become the square of 252 is 63504 plus c square minus 504c and now we can see a square plus b square equal to c square so therefore i'm going to replace this a square plus b square by c square and likewise this a times b i am going to replace this uh, a times b equals to 5292 so this is going to become 5292 as you can see in this uh, next uh, equation i have replaced this uh, a square b square by this uh, c square and likewise i replace this a b by this uh, 5292 and now we can see this c square and c square on both sides they cancel each other out and now let's go ahead and simplify furthermore so 2 times 5292 is going to give us uh, 10000 five hundred and eighty four equal to sixty three five zero four minus five zero four c 
And now let's go ahead and move uh, this uh, negative 504C on the left hand side and at the same time I'm going to move this uh, 10,584 on the right hand side as you can see in this uh, next uh, equation. Now let's simplify furthermore so 504C turns out to be 52,920. And now let's divide both sides by 504 on this side. This is gone. So therefore, our C value turns out to be 105. So thus our C value turns out to be 105. And now let's focus on this uh, equation 2 once again. And here's our equation 2. And now we know that uh, C value is 105 that we just figured out. I'm going to replace this one by C over here, 105. So therefore, we're going to have A plus B plus C. I'm going to replace it by 105 equals to 252. And now let's go ahead and subtract 105 from both sides. This is gone. So our A plus B value turns out to be 100 and 47 and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, equation uh, 1 and here I have copied down this equation 1 now let's go ahead and divide both sides by a I'm going to divide a on this side and a on this side and we can see that this a and a is gone so our b value turns out to be 52 92 divided by a and now I am going to substitute this uh, B value over here in this uh, equation over here. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced uh, this uh, B by this uh, value as you can see over here and now we are going to remove this fraction so I'm going to multiply all the way across the board by A. So here a times a is going to give us uh, a square. Here a and a is gone. So we got plus uh, 52, 92 equals to 147a. And now let's go ahead and move this uh, 147a on the left hand side. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have moved this uh, 147a on the other side and it became negative 147a. And now we can see that this is our quadratic uh, equation and we are going to solve it by grouping uh, and uh, factoring. And now let's focus on this uh, 5292 and here I have copied it down and if we pay a little attention we can see that this could be broken down to 21 times 21 times 3 times 4. So let me go ahead and rearrange this thing. Uh, 21 times 3 is going to give us uh, 63 and likewise 21 times 4 is going to give us uh, 84. So therefore let's focus on this uh, middle number negative 147a. I can tweak this thing. I can write this thing as negative 63a minus 84a. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced uh, this uh, negative 147a by this. Uh, and now we can see between first two terms, uh, a is in common and between these last two terms, uh, negative 84 is in common. So therefore, I can write a times uh, a minus uh, 63 minus 84 in common. So we got uh, a minus 63. 3 equal to 0 and now we can see a minus 63 and a minus 63 is in common so therefore we can write uh, a minus uh, 63 times uh, a minus uh, 84 equal to 0 let's go ahead and break it down so i can uh, set a minus 63 equal to 0 and the other one is going to be a minus 84 equal to 0 and here in the first equation a is going to give us a positive 63 value and for the second equation a is going to be positive 84 value and now we see that we got our c value is 105 and here i have copied down c value on both sides 
Now we are going to calculate the B value in both uh, scenarios. And now let's focus on this uh, equation two. And here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and move this uh, A and C on the right hand side to isolate uh, B as you can see in this uh, next step. Now let's focus on this uh, first scenario. Our A is 63 and C is uh, 105. I'm going to replace uh, these values uh, over here for uh, 63 and uh, 105 as you can see in this uh, next step. So if we simplify the right hand side, B value simply turns out to be 84. So therefore for this scenario, B value turns out to be 84. Now let's focus on this uh, second uh, scenario. Our A value is 84 and C value is 105. I'm going to replace this A by 84 and C by 105. As you can see in this uh, next step, let's go ahead and simplify. So B value turns out to be 63. Therefore, for this uh, second scenario, B value turns out to be 63. And now let's recall our condition B must be less than A. And in this uh, first scenario, B is not uh, less than A. So we are going to reject uh, this uh, scenario and we are going to accept uh, this uh, second uh, scenario. So therefore our A value turns out to be 84 and B value is 63. And here's our solution. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.